Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, and Karkadash. And Shalom to the uh, elders, Ma'ak and Ma'akwaf. I say Shalom in the heavenly Father's true name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Mahashem, in the name of Hamashiach, Yahweh Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the whole time. I say Shalom. And once again, Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'ak and Wa'akwaf. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of the book of Romans 13, verse 11 through verse 14. And this is the book of Romans 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time that now is high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation there that we believe. Right, and that's for, the, for us children of Israel. So the Heavenly Father showing us increasing uh, signs for now is that time for us, the high time to wake out of sleep, you know, because our salvation is near that we believe. Before that uh, occurs, you know, we, we're about to enter into the time of Jacob's struggle, which is uh, Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Uh, the time of great tribulations, is, that's in Matthew, Matthew 24, verse 21. And the uh, MOTB, the Central Digital Bank Currency, and that's in Revelation 13, verse 16. So now is that time, the high time we got to sleep, and then we're entering in the time of uh, Armageddon. You know, the third war's war, second war's past, behold, the third war coming quickly, which is in Revelation 11, verse 4, and uh, Joel, the third chapter, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, which is Jehovah Shapak. So all these signs that I just mentioned. So now is that time, the high time to wake out of sleep. You know, the more the uh, signs the Heavenly Father shows us, hey, now is that time, the high time to wake out of sleep. Cheer of Israel, the twelve tribes of Israel, man and woman. You know, so now is that time. Just like it says in Isaiah 55 verse 6, seek ye the Lord Yahweh while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. You know, Isaiah 33 verse 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. And the fear of the Lord Yahweh is his treasure. And this is uh, Romans 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation near to believe. Romans 13, verse 12. The night is far spent, the days are ahead. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. I think it says in Ephesians chapter 6, and verse 10. Put on the armor, put on the whole armor of Yahweh, so that we're standing against the wiles of the deceiver. Because the ultimate deceiver is definitely going to come down with great wrath because you know we have a short time. And that's in uh, Revelations 12, verse 12, I believe. I'm going to read it again. Revelations 13, verse 12. The night is far spent, the days at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Uh, Romans 13, verse 13. Let us walk honestly as in the day. As in the day, not in writing and drunkenness, and not in chamber and wantonness, not in scribe and envy. Uh, Romans 13, verse 14. But pit on ye the Lord, Yahweh, Hamashiach, Yahweh, and make not provision for the flesh and to fulfill the lust thereof. So, with that, this was just another sit down lesson that I want to bring out. Uh, Romans 13 verse 11 through verse 14 and that was the title of the sit down lesson so hopefully this sit down lesson was uh, edifying and with that I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem and that's the Heavenly Father's true name which is Yahweh and His only begotten Son Hamashiach Yahweh Shai those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew the Lashwan Ganash the Holy Tongue and shalom to the uh, elders of Akim Akwaf. Till next time, I'm saying shalom.